appearing for exams is like playing a cricket match and we know there are certain crucial cricket matches where the pressure and the intensity is very high so there are three things that we need to ensure before we start a match and during the match the first is we know especially these crucial matches where practice is key to success so there are good practice sessions the teams do similarly i'm sure before your match that is the examination you have appeared for mocks a couple of times because the hard you train the better you perform secondly have you heard any captain who does planning when the inning starts and he goes with the same planning sometimes that planning does work and sometimes he need to change that plan if he doesn't change we call that captain as something bad so similarly when you start your examination yes there is a plan that maybe you'll start with section a first b or c or it's vice versa but during the examination you need to alter the plan sometimes you might take more time in solving the first question which means you need to adjust your time by solving other question quickly you know the concept of run rate as well so when for example you started an inning four batsmen got out early so you need to stop playing fast which means you need to ensure that you get set on the wicket similarly when you started with a question and you took too much time then you have to ensure that you have to improve your run rate so to improve run rate what batsmen normally do they find the weak bowler once they see that weak bowler they try to score high runs in three to four overs to pace up the run rate similarly my friends for you where is that weak bowler that weak question that weak part in a question where you can solve the question early keeping in mind 1.8 minutes per mark which means if you see calculation is there you have to make sure you solve that calculation quickly in order to improve your examination run rate third and very important complete 50 overs no 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 20 overs whatever format you are playing it is key for you to bat 50 overs or 20 overs as you give yourself maximum chance to score more runs similarly in paper you have to ensure you complete your 100 marks now whether it's skill paper or a professional paper you ensure you complete entire paper especially when it comes to professional papers there are certain bonuses as well like solve 80 technical get 20 free to get those 20 free you need to ensure you have to play entire 100 marks so if you do this you will give yourself maximum chance to win that match now the last thing there are two teams playing a match so every team wants to figure out the weaker areas of the other team in order to target those weak ballers weak batsmen something like that similarly you need to target the weak areas of your examiner so you might be thinking examiner weak areas yes easy questions easy requirements easy parts are those that will take less amount of time and will give you more marks plus they will give you more time to spend on the other questions so target the weak areas of the examiner that is by solving easy requirements first so i hope you will sustain that pressure and will perform really good in your upcoming match i wish you best of luck for your pm fm and apm exam ha 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 nice motivational speech but as a acca examiner i could come up with a five to six mark of exam requirement in the exam and what if that exam requirement is an unexpected one so there is a possibility that students will feel demoralized and depressed so it's a battle of nerves it's about the acc examiner versus the level of exam preparation the student has so let's see who wins it